is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2015 SJ Pour Challenge is brought to you by the Grain Bill Homebrew Supply, located in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Brewers Exchange, operating in the U.S. and Canada. Finney's Homebrew Emporium, located in Bishopdale, Christchurch, New Zealand. And Omega Yeast, located in Chicago, Illinois. Okay, it's time for another video review of a homebrew for the SJ Port Challenge 2015. Bam. Okay, so this one is a uh, 2F76814 Bravo or B. So uh, we actually got a nice label on this. It's from Rec Brewery and it is a watermelon wheat. So I think I think this should be good. So popped up. Man, it's kicking my ass. Really oh, I smell it. I smell it already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it looks oh, a lot. Wow. Looks a little, oh, little over carb, but uh, let's go ahead and get a pour on it. The barrage smells like watermelon Jolly Rancher right now. Oh. I was I, panicking for nothing. I don't think it's over carb. Nope. Slight. Thumbed up in the bottle though. Well, it looks. It looks carved though. It's carved, not overly carved, like very light. Not even a moderate carb, Man, like smells, light carb. It smells wonderful. <laughs> Doesn't it smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers in here? Yeah. So. Uh, so this, I mean. Yeah, it smells. It smells fantastic. Yeah, it smells like candy. Too bad Halloween's not here yet. You can just no. drink this instead of giving out candy. Uh, Appearance-wise. Heads, heads not existent. Uh, I'm not sure what would cause cause that for. Depends on maybe where he. You think he used watermelon extract? I don't know. Well, I mean, it's supposed to be a local ingredient. So. Yeah. So I would have to say that's probably watermelon, but uh, but heads not there. Man, it smells wonderful. Let's get. Let's I, dig, I let's smell dig no on this wheat, one. but I smell plenty of watermelon. Sloshers. Cheers. So, uh, so we will be right back. That's just that's just how the cookie crumbles, you know, yep. just gotta guess. Okay, we're back and uh, watermelon wheat. Holy smoked! Lots of watermelon here. Lots of watermelon and. Uh, So, uh, holy shit, <laughs> when I was, cr when I cracked the bottle, I smelled the watermelon right away. So, uh, it was, uh, it was Jolly Rancher, like you said. Yeah, I mean, the whole, the, the whole bar in here, I mean, you pop the tops on both these beers, it kind of like, they're in the vicinity was like straight Jolly Rancher watermelon flavor, so, um, it kind of over, overshadowed any, like, wheat to me in the beer. I didn't get anything other than watermelon, so. And maybe that's what uh, the brewer is going for. I'm not sure, but like that's what I got. I would not, I'd hope to like get some other aromas, you know, in there other than like some some wheat flavor or wheat aroma or something. I just didn't get it. But I mean, it smells great. I mean, it smells like candy. Right. And uh, I, as you saw from the pour, there was no head whatsoever. Uh, it had no lacing, which I wasn't really expecting any yeah, lacing from, from it. Uh, it was slightly cloudy, which would be a wheat beer. But uh, the head kind of killed it for me, uh, not having it. But uh, other than that, uh, it, it was kind of thin, wheat beer, uh, and the watermelon flavor was just overwhelming. I it's I I kind I kind of think that it's possible that there was a watermelon flavor added at the end, and I don't know. I'm just I'm, that's what I'm thinking because. At the end of the of the sip, I could 
taste like a little bit of an off flavor, just a little bit of an off flavor. So yeah, for me, like uh, like right on the front of the tongue, like it tastes really good. I mean, it's like watermelon, it's crisp, you know. But then like on the back, you get like just a hint of like a bitterness on the back of the tongue or on the finish, that kind of overshadows the the sweetness that I guess the watermelon does through the through the nose palate. You kind of get a sweet taste on the front, but a bitter on the back, and kind of threw it off for me. But it's, I mean, it's still still a decent beer. I got I mean, I got no yeah. issues with it as a decent beer. I mean, it, I, I liked what uh, you were attempting and being a watermelon wheat. Heck yeah. yeah. It's uh, something different and uh, I'm, glad you, uh, I'm glad you entered it. Cheers. Cheers. I finished mine. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>